Hi everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about India's Chandrayaan-3 mission. If you're not familiar with Chandrayaan-3, it's India's third lunar mission, and it was launched successfully on July 14, 2023. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We always posting new videos about space exploration, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. First of all, congratulations to India! We want to start by congratulating India on the successful launch of Chandrayaan-3. This is a major achievement for India's space program and it's a testament to the hard work and dedication of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Fact number 1, Chandrayaan-3 will be India's first soft landing on the Moon's South Pole. The South Pole of the Moon is a very special place. It's thought to be home to water ice, which could be a valuable resource for future space exploration. However, the South Pole is also very cold and dark, which makes it a challenging place to land. Chandrayaan-3 will be India's first attempt to soft land on the Moon's South Pole. If successful, it will be a major achievement for ISRO. Fact number 2, Chandrayaan-3 will carry a rover called Pregyan. Pregyan is a Sanskrit word that means wisdom. The rover will be equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, including a drill that can collect samples of lunar soil and rock. Pregyan will explore the surface of the moon in search of water ice and other potential resources. It will also study the moon's geology and atmosphere. Fact number 3, Chandrayaan-3 will be the first Indian mission to use a new type of launch vehicle called the GSLV MK3. The GSLV MK3 is a heavy lift launch vehicle that's capable of carrying heavier payloads into space. This will allow Chandrayaan-3 to carry more scientific instruments and equipment to the moon. The GSLV MK3 is also a more reliable launch vehicle than previous Indian launch vehicles. This means that there's a lower risk of the mission failing. Fact number 4, Chandrayaan-3 will be the first Indian mission to use a new type of lunar orbiter called the Orbiter-2. The Orbiter-2 is a more advanced lunar orbiter than previous Indian lunar orbiters. It will be equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, including a high-resolution camera and a spectrometer. The Orbiter-2 will study the Moon's surface and atmosphere in unprecedented detail. It will also help to map the Moon's gravity field, which will be important for future lunar missions. Fact number 5, Chandrayaan-3 is a major step forward for India's space program. Chandrayaan-3 is a major step forward for India's space program. It will demonstrate India's ability to soft land on the moon and explore its surface. The success of Chandrayaan-3 will also help to boost India's reputation as a major player in the global space race. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned some interesting facts about India's Chandrayaan-3 mission. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching! If you're interested in learning more about space exploration, be sure to check out my other videos. I also have a blog where I write about space news and events. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Congratulations again to India on the successful launch of Chandrayaan-3. I'm excited to see what the future holds for this mission.